What's up everyone, this is Max Red. Today we're going to cover the new audio to chords feature in Cubase 12. Cubase recently added this new feature that allows you to extract chords from any song or audio loop. I'll show you how easy it is to use and also some ways that you can utilize this new feature for producing your own songs. So let's get started. We'll start with this loop, which I have downloaded from Splice. We simply drop it into our project, and then we can set our locators. We'll turn on the cycle mode and give it a color. Let's make this track blue. This is a piano chord that's set about 150 BPM. Let's listen to it. In order to extract the chords from the loop, we must first create a chord track. We can click on the plus sign here, or we can right click this lower region to add the track. Next, we simply drag our audio into the chord track and let Cubase analyze the chord structure. Notice there's no sound coming from the chord track. In order to listen to our chords, we must also open up an instrument so the input from the MIDI can play through the instrument of our choosing. For our instrument, we'll open up an instance of Helion SE. We'll use the instrument track to add our Helion. After our VST loads, we'll go with Ethereal Piano from the Verve collection. We can then confirm that our VST is working. Let's listen to a few notes. Now we can select Helion SE for our input monitoring track right on the chord track drop down menu. Let's listen to the chords now. Next, we select all of the chord events. We do this so we can combine all the chords into one MIDI event. With all the events selected, we can then use the glue tool and combine our chords into one single event, which we then can edit, copy, or export for later use. Notice that our loop is an E-flat minor, which is the same as our scale of D-sharp minor. Now that we have our chords, from here we can use other instrument tracks or just add a layer to our loop. We'll use Retrolog to add a bass line using the same notes that we got from our loop earlier. After we copy the MIDI, we can mute the top notes and leave the bass notes on the new instrument. We can select the notes and go down an octave. We can also add a MIDI track and create some top notes for our chords. We'll name the track Top Keys and use another instrument from Halion SE, some type of a piano sound. For this one, we'll go with the Live Grand Piano. Let's listen to it now.
we'll try to stay in the correct scale of D sharp minor. Here's the melody that goes above the chords. We'll have to click on our MIDI event and make a few changes. Here's our sample beat, but first I almost forgot to cover the chord editor. To edit the chord track, you simply click on the chord you want to change. Then you have the chord editor and you can choose and select other chords that are not part of the extraction. That's all I have for today. I hope you learned how this new feature can help in your own music production. Please subscribe if you haven't and leave a comment to see more videos like this. Thank you.